Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you must find my client, the defendant, not guilty on the counts of grievous bodily harm and aggravated robbery. We are about to prove that it was not the fault of the accused that she robbed the jewellery shop and that the owner got shot. Of course. I do sympathise that the owner was terrified when she aimed the gun between his eyes. Prosecution went into great detail about how he no longer feels safe working in retail and he can't sleep at night and wakes up in a fright at the slightest noise. But, ladies and gentlemen, he had a choice. Ask yourselves this. Why was he open so late? Doesn't that feel a bit like bait? Why would he put himself in that position? Opposing counsel say he's trying to earn a living, but if you ask me, he might just have known exactly what he was doing. I'd go so far as saying that he was asking for it, and we are only here because now he regrets it. Case in point. He chose to put his best, most enticing stock in his window display. <laughs> there is no better way to say, come and get it, you know you want it. That, right there, was provocation. A downright, blatant invitation. It was all out there, for all to see. If he didn't want to be robbed, he should have had more modesty. So I am sure you would all agree that that proves consent to the robbery. <laughs> Furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, it just boils down to estrogen. Girls will be girls. Opposing counsel say this was a disturbing act, but it is a fact that girls are drawn to things that are pretty, such as jewellery, that it has nothing to do with greed and is actually a biological need. Therefore, to take it is their right. So there isn't even a crime here to indict. Finally, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it would not be in the interest of justice to find my, my client guilty. It would ruin her career prospects and put an end to her sporting prowess. She's an accomplished athlete and the sentence would mean she can no longer compete. And hasn't she been punished enough by being dragged through this ludicrous trial during which she has been defiled and which for her has been exceedingly tough? She's been vilified on social media. She can't go out without people shouting at her. A guilty sentence would be too high a price to pay for 20 minutes of action anyway. In summary, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you cannot blame a lady for wanting to take jewellery that was put on display on blatant display late at night. So you must do what is right. You must reject this so-called victim's fanciful claims that he now finds himself at pains to live a normal life and that everything is all struggle and strife, as my learned colleague so eloquently argued. And you must be more shrewd. He wanted it. He was asking for it. It was not my client's fault for taking it. Therefore, she must be acquitted. I rest my case.